Okay, hello. Um, this video is going to be how to play uh, Trying to Throw Your Arms Around the World by U2. Okay, it goes a little bit like this. Six o'clock in the morning, you're the last to hear the warning. Been trying to throw your arms around the world. How far are you gonna go before you lose your way back home? Trying to throw your arms around the world I'm gonna run to you, run to you, run to you Mama, be still I'm gonna run to you, run to you, run to you Mama, I will Okay, uh, so you might not particularly like you 2 or this song but it's a good song to start on because it's very very simple um, there's only two song two chords in the whole song um, is A and then the D yeah so if you notice there the verse is A to D and the chorus is also A to D okay so the whole song is the same and the rhythm is also not too complicated Okay, uh, so it's a nice, easy song to start with. Um, the chords, okay, we'll go through these. Uh, the A first, okay, we want to take our first finger, put it on the first fret of the third string, if I can, another way, okay. So first finger, first fret, third string. Second finger is on the 2nd fret on the 4th string yeah, and we play all 4 strings ok, um, you might notice my thumb here is just sticking out over the top um, this is probably not really very good um, but I've played guitar for 20 years now so I've got big strong hands ok, if your hands aren't as strong you might struggle to play like this so what you should have is I uh, should in the early video probably have your thumb pressing against the back like this and that will help you point your fingers on top as we said before okay not flat like this but pointing down on top and give you a good clean sound okay so one more time the A chord first finger first fret third string second finger second fret fourth string A chord okay uh, next is the D chord. Okay, um, D chord. We're playing these three fingers. Okay, first, second, and third fingers are all going to be on the second fret. Okay, uh, so first finger is going to be second fret on the fourth string. Second finger is going to be second fret on the third string. And last one. Okay, the third finger is going to be second fret on the second string. Okay, and again we play all four strings. Okay, again, if we're getting a bit of a strange kind of sound, okay, that's because we're not getting enough pressure on. You might need to push, make sure your thumb is really pressing against the back like this, nice and get a good clean sound. Okay, so that's your D chord. So we've got A and D. Okay, um, so obviously for me, I know these chords very well. Um, it's very easy for me to change quickly between them. For you, uh, first, it might take you a little bit long. You might find you're kind of one finger here, uh, next finger here. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, the more you practice these, the more you play them, change between them, the quicker you'll get at changing. Okay, and this will go for all the chords we play. Um, so those are the two chords, okay? So you just got A and D for the whole song. Um, the rhythm, okay, uh, when we're strumming. Um, I'll show you the rhythm first, just I'm going to mute the strings, that means I'm just going to put my hand lightly against them like this, so we're not playing any notes. Yeah. And then you can see just what the rhythm sounds like. Uh, so I'm playing at the moment, I'm using this pick, okay, which you hold like this, okay, so one finger round and then the thumb, so it's sticking out like this. Um, Turn around that way, it might be a little bit easier for you to see. Um, you can play with a pick or you can play with your fingers. Um, you can do that for any song really. Um, if you're going to play with your fingers, 
Um, obviously we have downstrokes and upstrokes uh, when we're strumming. The downstroke, um, use the nail of your second finger, so you just want to Yeah, and as you can see my elbow's moving, my wrist is turning as well as I play. Yeah, and then for the upstroke we're going to use the thumb nail, okay, and go up like this. So we're going to... Okay, and I'm going to go Okay, uh, so that's if you're using your hands. Okay, if you're using the pick, nice and easy, you can just do the down strokes and up strokes with the different sides of the pick. Okay, um, so when we're strumming, the most important thing about the strumming is it, that's what gives you the rhythm. Okay, and so to keep the rhythm sounding good, um, we want to have our hand moving at the same kind of speed for the whole song. Okay, so the rhythm of this song is like this. Yeah, so we've got this down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Yes, we've got this kind of rhythm. Okay, so uh, there's little variations, you know, sometimes you have an extra up in there, but mostly it's just down, down, up, down. Okay, uh, but you can see all the times I'm doing this, my hand is still moving at the same speed. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm not doing, I'm not going down, down, up, you know, I'm not doing this, so I'm not doing this kind of stiff thing like this. I'm not doing all down, short going, yeah, we could do that, but it's if we do that, we're not going to have such a good rhythm, okay? So, the whole idea is to have your hand moving, like say, elbow moving up and down, but also your wrist turning as you strike the strings, okay? So, it's just. Okay, and then um, when we play the chord, so we've just got the A, D. Okay, and here you can see my changes are quite quick. You're going to struggle to change that quickly, uh, probably at first. So, um, keeping the rhythm is quite important. So. Uh, rather than something like this, okay. Try and keep the rhythm as as smooth as possible. So we can place slowly. And if you still can't do that, it's actually okay to have that last straight last uh, stroke be all the strings open. So if you kind of go. And that'll just give you time to get your hands into the next chord. Yeah, and like I said, the rhythm is very, very important. So rather than trying to play quickly and having to stop every time you change chord, it's better to play at a much slower speed. that rhythm nice and then once you can play that with a decent rhythm slowly over time you'll be able to play a bit faster you'll be able to change the chords faster and you can build up to the correct rhythm for the song okay um, so um, I'm not going to do the whole song now, uh, you can find the words online, you can find um, short videos on YouTube of uh, you two doing the whole song, um, but I'll just finish off with one quick verse and chorus again so you can see, so the verse, let's say, Six o'clock in the morning, you're the last to hear the warning, 
Trying to throw your arms around the world How far are you gonna go Before you lose your way back home Trying to throw your arms around the world Party.